Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you know here on the Jimmy Two Tech channel, we love our e-bikes and today we got a special one for you. We want to introduce you guys to the Spaniel Fat Tire E-Bike by MultiJoy. This thing has a lot of cool features. We're going to show you that here shortly. We're going to take this apart or take it out of the box, put it together, show you how to do that. Uh, what's cool about this too is you can get up to 70 miles. So we're excited about that. We'll tell you more of the features after, or features after we get this together. So let's pop this box open and put this thing together. All right, guys, here you go. We got it out of the pack, out of the box. It was packaged really well. Everything looks good. And it came with a couple cool accessories and how they packaged it is awesome. So we got to show you that, get you a close up of that. All right, first thing it came with, you got some bolts and nuts here you're probably going to need. It's nice that it came in a nice sorting package instead of, you know, some of them come with those in a plastic bag. So that's nice. Uh, what we got? Water bottle holder here. Came with that too. That's going to go right here on your on the frame of your bike, so that's nice. Came with a hat. Nice multi joy hat. You know, you can adjust it. Cameraman kind of took that already. Uh, I came with this cool case, which holds a lot of the stuff. Nice hard plastic case. Check this out. Good presentation on this. Of course, you got your, your book and everything on how to put it together, all that good stuff. Uh, your little card here comes with your headlight it's a good size headlight so you get lots of light out of this thing it's uh 48 volts too so it should be nice and bright what else we got in here oh, some kind of a uh, multi multi joy spaniel metal that's kind of cool nice box for that uh, this is i think your tool kit probably what you're gonna need to put it together oh yeah Look at that. Nice looking tools there. They don't look like the really, really cheap ones. So that's cool. This is probably all you're going to need to put this bike together. We'll find out here shortly. Uh, you have your charger over here. Let's see what's underneath here. So we got we got your your axle bolt, so to speak. It's the quick it's the quick one. So if you're in an area where uh, maybe you have high theft, you might want to switch that out. But and then uh, oh, our pedals are right here. So. Everything you need right here to put it together. So with that being said and show you what we got, we're gonna get this thing together starting with the front wheel because that way we can put on the uh, kickstand and it'll hold itself up while we put the handlebars on. So pretty much what you got is the, the front wheel, the handlebars and the front fender. And of course, like the headlight and stuff, but let's get started on that. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna do is put the front wheel on here. Make sure your sprocket side or your, excuse me, your rotor side is on the side with your caliper and you get a helper to lift up on it for you. Can you hold it up for me? Okay, just watch your cables, there you go. We're gonna take this packing thing off, and right here, you can see the your caliper. We're just gonna line that up in there. We're gonna come down on it here. Ooh, that lined up right on it. Perfect, and of course this comes with the, the spring-loaded uh, Axle like nut, so we're gonna unscrew the end. We're gonna put it through. One on each side. Don't forget your springs. There's one on there's one on each side of this thing. You're gonna to want to put your springs on. On there, screw that on. After we get this on, we'll move on to the handlebars and we'll be ready to set the headlight on and that's pretty much all there is to it. So let me get this tightened up then we'll go to the handlebars. All right now guys, we're on, we're on to the handlebars. So on the front, you're gonna take the tool that came with it. This one is the four millimeter. You're gonna take these four bolts out of the front here. Loosen them all up, get that off. Like that set that to the side for a minute and then we're gonna lift our handlebars up into place you can see on the bottom you got your gnarled part in the middle you're just gonna put that there and then re put that that thing back on you just took off we're not gonna fully tighten it because we're gonna want to tighten it later to adjust it to us 
when we get on here. But we're going to get it uh, snugged up a little bit. I know you'd be tempted to use power tools, but maybe don't. Because you'll probably strip them out. Most of this is aluminum anyway. So we're going to finish getting this snugged up. And then we're going to go on to the next step, which will probably be the pedals. So let's get this finished on here. See you at the pedals. All right, now we're putting on our pedals. You can see the pedals are marked left and right. Um, it's the right side of the bike is the bike is if you were sitting on it, it'd be that right side. So we're going to take our right pedal and on the right side, you could turn normally to tighten, but on the left side, it's going to turn backwards. So be careful of that so you don't cross thread it. So we're just going to start ours in and, if, and the, the tool kit that came with the bike comes with the wrench you're going to need to tighten it. So that's awesome. We haven't needed any other tool besides what they gave with it. So. Pretty much everything you need to get it going comes in the kit. So we're going to get this side in there and then I'll show you the other side how it goes in backwards after we get this side tightened. But uh, let me finish tightening this and we'll get to the other side. Alright guys, now we're on to the left side of the bike and you get the pedal marked L and this one's going to turn to the left to get it going. So it's, it's different than what most of you are used to. You do the right to tight. This one's going to be, this side's going to be left to tight. So. We're gonna do that. Finish tightening these in, and then uh, I noticed on the other side the chain needs to go on that sprocket, so we'll probably put that on and then put our front fender on. And I think we're we're cooking. Then we're gonna get some seat time behind this thing. But I'll show you some close-ups of some of the features on this and tell you a little more about it here in a second. So let me get these finished and we'll do that. Okay, our chain here is not on the front uh, sprocket, but that's an easy thing because it's on the derailleur back there. That's all there is to that. Now let's go put that front fender on and we are, well besides tightening up our handlebars to get it where we want it, we'll put that front fender on. So let's go do that. All right, next we're gonna mount our fender and our headlight on the front. You're gonna do them at the same time because they mount through the same bolt here. But it's right above the center. Your uh, fender's gonna go in from behind. You'll have your bracket on the fender that's gonna mount to the bolt. And then you're gonna put the headlight on here. So we're gonna do this front one first. We'll grab our cool light out of that package that cool case put that on the front set that through put the fender on then your washer and nut line it all up snug it down a little don't tighten it too much because we still got to do those bottom ones but at least get to start it on there like that and then we'll get to our side ones down here you can see on our side ones they're like the pinch type it's just going to hold it here so again you're just taking the bolts and nut apart then you're going to hook them together in between here and that'll do that so let's get that going here this one is the four millimeter the four millimeter uh, allen and then the smaller eight mil eight millimeter wrench don't lose the washers there is some on both sides so you don't want to lose those Start it in there like that, and then just retighten just like that. Then we're gonna go to the other side, do the same thing, snug these down. And then all we gotta do is tighten that top one and plug in the headlight. We'll show you how to do that when we get to it there. But let me finish putting these on and we'll go around. All right, we're, we're closing in on getting it done. Getting excited here, I want to get some seat time. But we're just finishing tightening up the light. We tightened up the fender here at this bolt and the two side ones. Now, all we have to do is we're going to plug in our plug for the light you can see there's a little little spot there for it and there's a there you just put them together like that make the two join there's a couple arrows on there also you can see the arrows just line the arrows up and it'll go do its thing so that's good then up here's the velcro we're just going to put that in there with it like that so to hold our wire in place Then we're going to want to come up here make sure you set the handlebars for you sitting on the bike and then we're just going to finish whoop, wrong, wrong for that and then we're just going to finish tightening those up and we should be good all 
All right, we almost forgot the most important thing, the water bottle holder. So that's pretty easy, right here on top. Just gonna loosen these bolts. Put our water bottle on there, our water bottle holder. After we get this on, I'll show you guys around. Show you the cool features this thing has. Pretty self-explanatory here. Let's just get this mounted. We'll get it going. Be careful when you tighten it. This water bottle holder is plastic. But the last one, so. And that's it. Pretty much it for your uh, install, guys. So pretty easy install. And if, if anything I showed you in this video, if you've missed anything or you need to know more, the book is very good. It has good colored uh, assembly instructions with pictures. So everything you're going to need is going to show right up in there. You won't miss anything. Uh, you could do it in, in the steps the book tells you or the way I did it. Either way works, but there's our bottle holder. Awesome deal. Well, here it is, guys. All assembled. This is the Spaniel Fat Tire E-Bike by MultiJoy. You can see this, how it looks here. It was pretty easy to put together, like four steps maybe or something like that. Like I mentioned, the book lays it out for you nicely with the instructions, so it'd be easy for you to put together. Let me tell you a little bit more about this thing, uh, some of the details. Uh, on the back power in this thing, you got a 750 watt geared hub motor with 850 newton meters of torque. So it has more torque than some of them, so that's nice to have. Also, it has the 48 volt uh, battery which is 20 amp hour, 960 watt hours, and it's an LG battery. Uh, estimated mileage on this thing is between 45 and 70 miles, depending on what you're riding in the train and everything, and that's per charge, so keep that in mind when you're planning your trips. It just also has a 350 pound weight rating on it, so it's gonna be able to hold you. It has an awesome color display, so it's a good size display here. It's like, I don't know what that is, three and a half, four inch display. Pretty nice display on it. It also has the 26 by 4 Kenda fat tires. That's probably the most dominant thing you see on here. So those are nice for riding off-road. Good mountain bike type tires. Uh, it also has the Shimano 7-speed transmission, which most of the e-bikes do. Uh, it seems to be enough most of the time, so well, that's pretty nice. It also has 180 millimeter mechanical disc brakes on here. You can see them. They look, they look pretty good. There's more than enough stopping power for this. And it has the 170 millimeter aluminum crank on here also so get good pedaling on that large 48 volt headlight on the front with the integrated tail light back here and uh, this tail light will activate when you press the pedal or the uh, the brakes that will make that come on so that's good to know and it has the twist throttle that you typically see on these which is nice and it also has the 80 millimeter travel on the front suspension which is you could lockable you could lock it out if you're riding on smooth terrain um, another cool feature on this is they do have in the bottom of the bottom of the display here, there's a little port where you can charge your phone. And there's also one here on the side of the battery. So if you're, you know, you got a GoPro mounted or a tel or a cell phone on here and you need to charge it, you can use the power from your battery to keep you guys up and going. So that's just some of the features. We we want to get some ride time on this, some seat time. Oh, also it has the nice rack on the back. So that's pretty good. So that's it. I mean, it's a lot of nice features. We're gonna get some ride time, and then we in the in next videos, we can uh, we can show you how you know we'll give you more of the goods, bads, you know what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it, what could be improved, things like that. It'll be probably in upcoming videos, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, also, if you're interested in picking one of these up, you can head on over to uh, MultiJoyBike.com, and they're having a sale right now. If you use the code MTB200, you can get $200 off this bike. If this is something that you look like you're interested in. And also I want to mention, MultiJoy is also having a fall giveaway starting the 20th of September to the 30th. They're giving away a bunch of awesome prizes. Uh, one's going to be an electric folding scooter. So it's in collaboration with a couple other uh, people as well. So they got a lot of prizes there. For more information for that, if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down in the description. You can go check that out. Um, and like I said, if you are interested in this, go check it out. They also have a step through model. For those of you who might need a step-through model, they have that, and uh, you get a bunch of uh, yeah, a bunch of free accessories with it. Like you'll get the rack, the lights, all the bunch of free stuff with it. And as you've seen when we unpacked it, it comes with the hat, that nice hard case for 
like the bunch of stuff came in at the pedals and the axle bolt and all that stuff is all in there that's a that's nice packaging so you'll get that too but uh with that being said guys we're gonna get some seat time on this we're gonna let you know how it goes in some previous era and some subsequent videos so stay tuned for that if you guys haven't already please hit that subscribe button we'd appreciate the support and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when we post the next videos on this thing and with that being said guys thanks for watching until next time try something new or do a little bit of everything also guys don't forget check your air pressures i think they're a little low when they come ship so make sure you fill them up to what it recommends on the tire so you're ready to get some seat time in this like we are we're going to head out and do that now. So catch you guys next time.